Hi everyone, I'm Alex Ziwak, and I'm the host of Gathering of Styles TV. Caldera with the Gathering of Styles TV on location, Lincoln, Rhode Island. Jiu-Jitsu's the name of the game. Hi, I'm Eric Caldero with The Gathering of Styles TV, and I am here with Richard Patronelli at his event, Patronelli Summer Showcase. The who's who in jiu-jitsu is here, let me tell you. Mr. Patronelli, who is your instructor? I had many of them. Uh, I started off as a kid with uh, a guy named uh, John Degatti, very famous in the 50s. Spent many years with him with my dad. That's how I got into it. Uh, then I moved on to uh, Pete de Blasio, basic karate style. Uh, and from then on, as I grew older, uh, I met a guy named John Lee in jiu-jitsu. Um, I spent many years with him. Uh, when he passed on, I went with Peter Rogers, Grandmaster Peter Rogers. I spent 15 years with him. And beyond that fact, um, I met the world's strongest man, John Wooten, Grandmaster John Wooten, uh, my Amaru, uh, Antonio Pereira's student, uh, he was a 10th don, uh, and a, a ninth don, I believe, in, in uh, judo. And um, Professor V came up my dojo in Cranston, Rhode Island, 1500 Oakland Avenue, and did a seminar, and he, he watched me, and he pointed to me, and he says, I want you at my house. I said, really? Yeah, I started laughing. He's a great guy, huh? Oh, yeah. He lived in uh, White Plains Road in the Bronx, 1232, second floor. And Remember it was, that, it was, huh? it was, oh, yeah. I used to drive there three times a week for years, and, uh, I really enjoyed it. With Mr. V's knowledge, you're passing it on. Yes, I and am. And you're doing it the right way. Yes, um, I am. With the Gathering Styles TV and the seminars, and we totally believe in passing it on to the next generation. You I, believe in that, obviously. Yes, I, uh, I really get out there. After, All right. You know, so. Well, outstanding. I'm Eric Caldera with the Gathering Styles TV. Soki Patronelli, talk to you later. Hi, I'm Eric Caldera with The Gathering of Styles TV. I'm here with jiu-jitsu expert Thomas Gatlin in from New York, letting you know what's going down in your town. Sir, it is a pleasure to have you here, let me tell you. First of all, I hear you're all over the world. What's going on? Where are you teaching? Well, thanks for having me, brother. Um, things are going great. Um, my Hambu Dojo is located on Southampton, Long Island, but um, the art is spreading around the world. I have schools in New Jersey and Florida, Colombia, South America, Mexico, and Canada now. Oh my God, that must be incredible. Let's say the name properly of your style. The art is San Lung Tao, System of Three Dragons. It's a hybrid art, but it encompasses traditional arts of karate, kung fu, and jiu-jitsu. That is so great to hear. You believe in passing it on. Uh, listen, if there is no tradition, there is no martial art. Although I, I do a hybrid or what they considered a combined art, I maintain the traditions of all three of those arts, only bringing them in. In fact, I might be more traditional than traditional. Next week, I'm in Chicago with Grandmaster Anthony Muhammad. Nice. Uh, two weeks from that, I'm with Chuck Beadle down in Virginia. Uh, three weeks from that, I'm with Soke Lil John Davis down in Florida. The thing is, is that we have to understand when you want support, you have to be supportive. We're always better when there's unity in martial arts. When we get on the floor, we cross train. I learn from you, you learn from me. We set all that ego nonsense aside. The better you become, the better I become, the better our students become. It's no longer about me, man. My, my time has come and gone. People are, oh man, but you're still great. Listen, 
it ain't about me. It's about producing the best students. It's about raising up these little boys and girls to be great citizens. It's about turning adults from employees to employers, from going from being an employer to the business owner. You know, we always want an upward projection, and, and that's what I'm about. And I do that by supporting those who support me. And I receive a tremendous amount of support. So I have to give them out. That's why I'm here in Rhode Island now. So okay, Petronelli was just out there for me. So what do I have to do? I load up the students, I come and support him. That's the way martial arts should be. Outstanding answer. Well, you heard it here live, Gathering the Styles TV with the latest and greatest, Thomas Gatlin. We're out of here. Hey, Eric, is that you? Yeah, that's me. Great, we got Eric on location. Let's see where you're at. I'm in Warwick, Rhode Island. Hi, I'm Eric Caldera with the GOS TV, and I'm at the Crown Plaza, Rhode Island, bringing you jujitsu. Hi, everybody, I'm Eric Caldera, and welcome to the Gather of Styles Jujitsu Seminar. Today, we have Grandmaster, 74 year old, or 74 years young, Grandmaster Ali Shabazz. Whoops. So, we yeah. can Carlos Bella Cruz. Have a fun day, enjoy each other's company, and thank you for coming. Hello everyone, this is Alex Zewak with Gathering of Styles. I'm actor, maybe you've seen me in The Drop, John Wick, uh, I'm an undercover on Blue Bloods, and I'm the owner of Zewak Martial Arts in Connecticut. We are privileged to have with us today Sensei Carlos De La Cruz. Thank you, sir, for joining us Pleasure today. I'm Pleasure. sure our viewers are interested in knowing your background in the martial arts, no, your different systems, absolutely. styles. First, I wanted to uh, thank uh, Eric and the Gathering of Styles for having me. Uh, the spirit of sharing is mm -hmm. very important, mm -hmm. and I think that this organization is very about promoting that sense of community. Exactly. So exactly. it's a pleasure to be here and a pleasure to kind of go over Thank my Thank you background. for taking the time. Well, when I first started doing the martial arts, I started understanding uh, in, in terms of distance, yes. right? How far away the person is from you. And I realized that the system that I was doing, the Kempo system, mm -hmm. wasn't, uh, didn't cover it all. You know, so I yeah. started looking for different things, and that's kind of mm -hmm. when I started working with guys, uh, senior guys well, in the Kempo Dojo. Well, that's what I, because my background is Taekwondo, and they're right. known primarily for all kicking. Absolutely. And I said, well, wait a minute, what's going to happen if I'm close to What are the other somebody? ranges, What's right? going to happen if someone's sitting on top of me, so we're on the same page? Absolutely, right. and it's, it's just trying to be thorough with your understanding well, of the martial right. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. Yes. I think in uh, the 90s, when the, like 93, when the Gracies kind of came in yes. and added that dimension that a lot of people I'd never seen before. Right. They kind of emphasized mm -hmm. the understanding of distances exactly. and all that kind of stuff. And then obviously even further out with weapon training. Yes. So after I got my black with the 97 in the Kempo system, mm -hmm. I wanted to go out. I started training in Aikido. I started looking mm -hmm. into uh, a friend of mine did jujitsu. Okay. And was a student of Grandmaster Richard Petronelli's, oh, which is how okay. I was introduced yes, of course. into the yeah, jujitsu system. You yes. know? So I was working on things on a very, very basic level. Right. So I, I mean the basic stuff, repetition, repetition. Right. So when I started working with like Grandmaster Petronelli, mm -hmm. Grandmaster Syed Najem, mm -hmm. who's an Olympic, Olympic champion, oh, yes. I mean silver medalist in 1992. Mm -hmm. I mean just super talented martial artist. Right. I started working with uh, Soshihan Felto Messina and Soshihan uh, Ignacio yeah, Arias. Yeah, you work with all the heavies. Yeah, yeah. well I try to, you heavies. know. You right. can learn from a seminar and you can learn from a very you know brief interaction with sure. an instructor just like you can learn from your mother your father in any sense of life but exactly. there are teachers there are places right. where you can go and you have to repeat and repeat and repeat mm -hmm. and repeat and that can't be faked That's you know it. so i try to find the meanest <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> the meanest guy <laughs> that wouldn't let me get away with anything you know master right. Najem was a taskmaster mm -hmm. you know classes were three hours long three times a week mm -hmm. and if you couldn't take it you just had to go yeah you know what man. I mean? It's just really the way it was. And he told me years later, he goes, you know, when, when people ask you about me, you're going to tell them that I'm crazy. Well, then my, <laughs> well, this is a funny story because I trained with my first instructor, Tehi Lee. Okay. Yeah. And the way he taught back then compared to the way it is now, he Very said different. it'd be like totally different. Very different. And then different. when he had to relocate, I traveled out to California and everybody knows Grandmaster Hio Cho. Absolutely. So that was one badass dude oh absolutely absolutely <laughs> and is and then like 
and he really trained us hard. Uh, you know, I never got a sense of how tall he was because every time I saw him, he was up in the air, you know, <laughs> yeah, throwing a kick over back, his shoulder, you know. And, you know splitting Amazing. bags in half. But see, again, that's talent, that's passion, and yeah. that's a person that, I mean, I know he's on the uh, seminar circuit sharing all the oh, stuff yeah. that he does, we, you know. We go to England and Ireland with him. It was an honor to Absolutely. be under his tutelage. Absolutely. Yeah. I was traveling to Ohio with Grandmaster Petronelli one time, mm -hmm. and I'm just like, Profi no, I'll grab your bags, I'll grab your bags. Yes. And he's like, he looked at me and he's like, I used to grab my instructor's bag. Like, what, a, what, a, what a full circle, <laughs> what a full circle type circle moment. You know oh, yeah. I mean? But that's, that's the essence of the martial arts. Yes. You're just a link in the chain. Mm -hmm. You know? Yes. You can't, you're no better than anybody else that came before you. That's right. And your job is to make sure that the next generation that comes after you is just And this is, is just what the gathering of styles Absolutely. is all about. And that's and why that's, I'm here. And that's why that's you're here. here. I think we have some clips of Sensei Carlos De La Cruz yes. right here. Hi, my name is Sochihan Carlos de la Cruz, and I'm here with my good friend Eric Caldera, and we're going to do the technique of the week. So we're going to work off of a grab, right? So he's going to lunge in for me, and he's going to grab me. Most of the time, when the person grabs, I've already made the mistake of allowing you to close the distance. So if I have anxiety from you grabbing me and me moving back, I want to be able to use that but channel it into you. I'm going to give you the reaction that you were looking for. But we're gonna stop here, and I'm gonna show you the finishing move, and we're gonna work our way backwards, okay? The finishing move that I wanna use, I wanna come underneath, and instead, where's the power in this? Where's the control in this? Front to back. So you could pull me, uh, and you could push me, uh, and you can control my movement this way. But you can't control my movement this way, right? There's no control there. This arm gives you the illusion of control, right? And it gives me a contact. The only thing I'm worried about is that, because this is a dead hand to me. So forget about the shock, forget about the footwork. I want to work my finishing move. I'm going to come underneath, rotate. I'm not trying to pull you away, because if your grip is strong, it's the same thing. Close it tight, and I'm going to try to pull. That's where you're strong. But if I start to rotate, look at the movement. I'm going to come right in. You OK? Us, come on up. I'm not going to go over so much. Okay, I'm just gonna go over a little bit halfway so you don't have to keep worry about, I wanna, I wanna move, we're gonna go, right, grab it again. See, when I roll, my, I'm bringing him into me and I'm bringing my elbow down into me this way as well. Everything is tight. This teaches me the lesson that if this thumb lines up with this pinky and this pinky lines up with this elbow, as long as I'm pulling the pinky towards me, I'm working directly against the most effective way to break, dislocate this joint, right? So how to get there is everything else. It's the footwork, it's this. It's the rollover, okay? So shock, but you know you gotta work that final move. You wanna know how you're gonna pin this guy, right? So come in one more time, hey, calm down. There it is. See, that was a little hard. I had to put a little body into it, but the minute that I add my shocks and I start kicking low and I lock first, and then I come in this way here, I got you, okay? So let's add the cherry on top, the control point, last thing, right? You grab me here, again, you don't have any control of me moving this way, and I'm concerned with this hand. But if I have my shock and I kick and I lock to give you pain, you come in at me? So I know if you move, I can end it here. But I'm gonna come in here, and now I'm gonna come in, grab those fingers, and lock them up this way, watch. Right, come in with me with the other hand. Gotcha. <laughs> so, not every technique requires me to gouge your eyes out, hit you in the throat, kick you in the groin. I can control you, especially if you close the gap and do the hardest part for me. Okay, as long as my hands are on guard, I stay relaxed, I channel my, that anxiety in a proper way, keeping my hands up. You attacking me and you closing the gap on me doesn't make me do this and open up. It makes me do this, hey man, calm down. See where my hands go? So my hands are always in position. That's why I can make a mistake. Because if I make my mistake, my hands are still in front of me, not down, not this way. Us? Good. Kyle Stella Cruz. Technique of the week. My website is the easiest way to get a hold of me. Okay. Uh, we've just revamped it. It's tombokai.com. T-O-M-B-O-K-A-I.com. Tombokai means dragonfly. Okay. Now, typically, in the martial arts, you'll see mascots that are dragons and tigers. And, you know, 
these aggressive animals. Mm -hmm. The dragonfly is very passive. It does what it does, and it just kind of stays out of the way. And that's really our philosophy. All the chaos can go on outside. It mm -hmm. doesn't affect us. I you know, see. we are very inside of ourselves. Right. So as opposed to going after something that uh, has the connotation of aggression, we're trying to go for an, another, another path, a, a more philosophical path, you, well, know? you know, introspection. Sensei, it was an honor for me to interview you. It's a and pleasure. I think it's an honor for our viewers to have you here with us today. Well, it's a pleasure Thank to you. be here and it's a pleasure to share with you guys. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. Baltimore. Mr. Shabazz. Ha! Ha! Stepping with a reverse outside block, strike to the kidneys, hammer fist strike to the carotid artery, elbow strike to the chin, pseudo block to the carotid artery. Hi, I'm Eric Caldera with The Gathering of Styles, letting you know what's going down in your town. Well, let me tell you, Martial Arts Weekend Expo, Atlantic City. Alan Goldberg's putting it on. Thank you for tuning in, everyone. I'm Master Alex Zewak, signing off for the Gathering of Styles TV.